voiceover virus is um, it's a social media based campaign um, and we aggregate a lot of stories and posts that people would put on social media about their experience with COVID-19. So kind of bringing together the stories and experiences of people going through this time because it's a very unique time for all of us. So a pandemic response hackathon, essentially it's something where a lot of people from different fields come together to build a project in a short amount of time. So in 48 hours, we kind of had to build um, a program or a project, um, some sort of solution to help um, combat COVID-19. It was amazing hearing the feedback from everyone. They gave us a lot of positive feedback, a lot of compliments, and um, you know, a lot of constructive criticism as well, which is important um, when making a project like this. Voiceover virus, the Facebook of COVID virus, is uh, really using the power of story. So connecting people, letting them tell their stories, hearing that other people are going through this experience is really, really important. I think the ones that most stood out and were most creative from my perspective were things like the voiceover virus. That is a huge need. Voiceover virus, I love Lyric. It's a great project. Um, you know, as, as several of the commentators have say, we've got to tune back into the stories. This is not just a technical problem. It's, it's a cultural um, challenge. It's a spiritual problem. And, and the spirit will never lie in the numbers. It's going to have to be enlisting each other in new ways. And I, I love the way Voice Over Virus is eliciting, proposing to elicit stories as something a really valuable community resource. We didn't think we were going to win. So it was a huge surprise when we did. I think it was really amazing. I, I definitely, none of us, none of us on the team was expecting a response like that.